Assalamu alaikum and welcome kids to the science class. I hope you all are doing fine. And I am your science teacher, teacher Aruj. Today we are going to start a new lesson. Let's see which lesson it is. So grade is ESL. Subject we will study today is science. It is the same chapter and the same lesson, just a new topic, okay? Chapter number one, lesson number one. The title of today's topic is, the title of today's page is Cars and Energy. Cars and Energy. We will see how cars are related to energy, okay? So kids, I would like all of you to open page number 18 on your book. Yes, come on, open page number 18 on your book. Keep your pencils and your notebooks and your books ready in front of you. So you know what I'm reading and from which page, okay? So here are two new words that we are going to learn today. The first word here in front of you is fuel. I want you all to repeat with me this word, please. Fuel. 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 We will see what is fuel and how fuel is related to energy and cars, okay? And the next word we have here is burn. I hope all of you have like heard it somewhere. I'm pretty sure you know a little bit about this word. We will discuss this in next slides, okay? So let's repeat this word, please. Burn. 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 Awesome, awesome. So the first word was fuel, right? What do you mean by fuel? Let's read. Fuel is a substance that is burned to provide energy and power so fuel is that liquid which provides energy or which gives power to the vehicles for example your car your buses your bicycle train airplanes trucks all these vehicles they use fuel to give them energy fuel is like a food for them right like all of us we eat food and we get energy and then we are able to work right similarly for the cars for the buses and all, any kind of vehicle they need fuel to get energy and to be uh, to be able to uh, move and work properly so fuel is a substance or is a liquid that is burned to provide energy you know in our cars i'm sure all of you have seen uh, when uh, the fuel is about to finish in the cars your dad or mom they will stop at a gas station so that they can refill the fuel in their uh, uh, vehicles right it means that they are charging your the car or giving food to the car so fuel is basically a food for the car that gives energy so fuel and cars and energy all these words are related to each other okay the second word is burn that we learned today burn means to be on fire or touch or feel something that's very hot like sometimes when your mom is cooking food or someone in your house is cooking food and they accidentally touch the pot the very hot pot so what they, they have done to themselves they have burnt their hand right it means they have touched the very hot pan and now their hand is burnt so burn is basically to be on fire or touch something that's very very hot okay So kids, here is page number 18 in front of you. I hope all of you have this ready in front of you already. Yes. So I'm going to start reading and I want all of you to put your fingers with me on the word that I'm reading. Okay. Awesome. So the title of our page is Cars and Energy. Cars and Energy. Awesome. 
So let's move on to the first line. Please put your fingers, ears on me, eyes on the book. Okay. Cars use energy, right? They need energy to move. If there is no energy in the car, the car won't be able to travel from one place to another, right? So next line. Most cars get energy from fuel. See? That's what I told you that when uh, we need to charge our car or the, our car needs food, how we will get food to the car so that it can get energy and it can work back in properly proper shape. It is because of the fuel. Fuel is like a food for the car. It's a liquid that we will fill in our car so that it can burn the fuel will burn and then the car will be, will be able to move okay next line some fuel is burned to make heat or power now in the car there's you know the car is like a big vehicle and it, it has a lot of different machineries inside it it's because we, um, it's working because it has engine and tires and a lot of other stuff inside going on we don't know so some of the fuel in that car that we, we are filling some of the fuel will burn so that it can provide heat or power fuel when it will burn only then the car will be able to move okay cars use gasoline for fuel now gasoline is the name of the like gasoline or petrol these are the names of the fuel that we put in our cars because like for example there are a lot of different kinds of fuels there's a fuel there's a diesel there's gasoline there's petrol so like uh, gasoline and petrol will only uh, go in uh, you know certain vehicles like for example the diesel we cannot put the diesel in the car the diesel will go in like big trucks and stuff like that yeah next line a car's engine burns the gasoline now see i told you the car is made up of what it has a lot of engines inside right so um the engine it burns the gasoline the car has to move the car has energy to move so only when we will put a gasoline as a fuel only then it will have the energy to move okay tell what gives tell what gives the car in the picture the energy to move what is that thing that's giving energy to the car hmm? can I tell you I know all of you know it yeah okay awesome gasoline right so let's read tell what gives the car in the picture the energy to move it's the gasoline or the petrol right possible answer so here you have to write the answer it's written in front of you in the blue uh, blue marker you don't have to write this one right here don't write this okay the start from here the car gets energy from gasoline okay awesome so cars get gasoline from gas pumps see these are the gas pumps so cars get energy from these gas pumps whenever the uh, gasoline is about to finish in the car what we do we stop at the gas station or get gas pump and then we get our ga uh, uh, gas or the gasoline refilled yeah so kids i hope you understood the page yeah so thank you my lovely kids i hope you understood the lesson inshallah i will see you all in the next class till then take care have fun and enjoy your day